Hey guys, what's going on? It's Grim, and I am just playing some Battlefield 3. Just uh, hopping into a jet, getting into a little bit of dogfight here, trying to take this guy out. Uh, I haven't flown in a while, so just really uh, kind of getting back into the mix of uh, being able to steer and maneuver around. But I uh, actually, oh god, oh, got a little crossed up with my mouse there for a minute. Oh god, oh god, okay, alright. Um, Okay, I'm turning. Oh god, oh god, no, 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 no! Oh god! Ah, oh, what the hell? Ah, uh, yeah, this is annoying. Okay, so basically, guys, I wanted to make a video and kind of showcase what happens when Windows and Nvidia 3D don't get along. This shit. Um, and we've all seen it, and it happens, you know, with all the, you know, the really good games, really big, intense, resource-intensive games, and it's really annoying, and some, you know, a lot of people just deal with it. I dealt with it for a long time, but I uh, tried to find a fix for it, and I couldn't, so I kind of just really came up with my own thing. I figured out what was going on, and um, so basically, we all normally would just go here and click on keep current color scheme but we all know that never happens it never stays that way and it will show that message again we all know that so what I'm gonna do is show you how to not have that message show up it's just a little bit thing so open up the game that you're having the problem with in my case here I was having the problem with uh, Battlefield 3 so I'm gonna go into my folder structure go into my uh, where my origins is uh, where is it? Here we go. Yeah. And yeah, and there's Battlefield 3. So right click on it and go to properties and then go over to compatibility tab and scroll down. All right, we'll look down to where you see disable desktop composition. Go ahead and uh, select that, apply it, hit OK. And what you're going to notice that when you start Battlefield 3 the next time, your Windows is going to switch to basic visual mode. It's going to remove the uh, black transparency that I have, as you can see down here. And because um, I can't actually record the whole Windows screen, I did some finagling with some screenshots. And this is what it'll look like. It'll be the light bluer, uh, shaded, you know, not colored. Um, and it just flips over real quick, and it does it for you. And it does it before the game starts. Um, so then you just go right ahead and join a multiplayer game like you normally would. And I always like to try to look for a good ping, and then I like to see if the what the player issue is, and make sure I'm getting into uh, something not crazy. I don't really like uh, some of the game modes, so I tend to stay away from those. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and join this server, and I'll play the game, and you'll see that I won't get the error. And that's you know that's really it. It's not it's not a complete fix. It's you know obviously I would like to not have to switch over, but at least it does it before the game starts. And it gets it right out of the way and what's nice is when you're done playing the game and like you go back to the you know browser tab and uh, as soon as you leave the close that tab that Battlefield 3 is in your Windows swaps back over for you and it's just a quick flick of the screen um, it's it's just what you have to deal with it's just like when you're in a game and you alt tab out to the other screen if you have dual monitors or whatever um, like for me anyway, I, one always has to kick out and then come back. It's just really annoying, and I wish they'd fix it. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps, and I hope this makes your gameplay a little less uh, angry so it doesn't chop out on you. But uh, enjoy, and this is a complete Battlefield 3 fail. So, cheers.